Oh! Oh yeah! Man, this is big! Oh crap! All right. Whoa, did you see the other one come up? There was another one chasing it. it looks like a mean mouth, but it's just a really dark spotted mouth. Hey, hey! Ah! Right in my damn shirt. Come over here, we finally get one on our crankbait. Ain't that something? All that time and nothing. Guys, I got him on a Bandit 200 Chartreuse Blue Back. And it is a spotted bass from, yeah, a little spotted bass, about a pound and a half. I had him hooked in the face too, that's why he felt bigger than what it was. Not a bad fish. <sighs> All right guys, I'm gonna get him back in. big man please don't be a gar it don't feel like it oh it's a drum <laughs> on a crankbait all right guys I got a drum on the bandit 200 at least it wasn't a gar but now I'm gonna get tired of getting drums not bad They have pliers to get him off, unfortunately. At least it's something. You just gotta cast over and over and over and over and you eventually get one. It's just hundreds and hundreds of casts. That's the trick to it. Just like Bernie. him off and he's about a pound and a half maybe close to two pound drum he had me fooled I thought I had something real nice but it was just a drum guy stinking old ugly drum oh well I guess it's a fifth another episode me and Virgil are doing an after work fishing trip it's already five in the evening so we got only got about two hours but uh, it's supposed to rain Wednesday and Thursday so I figured I better hit this spot before the rain ruins it because it muddies up real easy and uh, as you guys know the daylight hours are getting shorter and shorter so before you know it it'll be getting dark at five or six o'clock so I want to Take advantage at least once a week by going after work. Bald Eagle just flew over us. Oh, yeah, I see. Man. 
And me and Virgil are going to a place we made a video of about exactly a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, when we discovered the double waterfalls. But uh, it has changed a little bit. I came down here and looked at it once this year and it was only coming down one side now. And it was pouring rain and me and her had to come back home. We're about to find out what it's doing now. It went way back. Oh my God. Yeah, it's only one and it moved, it moved back another 50 feet since I was here. See where the rapids come down at the end? Like at the last 20 feet? That's, That's where- double waterfall. Yeah. No. It, it used to come over here to the right. This is it. In fact, this is where I go. Wow, that looks so weird. Ridiculous. Remember I told you it was real deep on that side now? It's real mm -hmm. deep over there where me and you was catching them. It moved back another 50 feet. See the little rapids at the very end? That's where the yeah. waterfall was when me and her was here. Huh. Holy cow. I guess the dirt just keeps, it can only handle so much water and it just keep, keeps breaking off. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's not, it's head doesn't look anything like what it used to. No. And this used to be a lot wider. It's lo super low. The last time I got, I went down right there, but she went down over by this tree. I don't know how, but it took her twice as long as me though. But she may have found a better spot to go down. It's definitely clear though. That's one good thing. Man, whatever I was touching, those plants, my hands are real sticky now, like honey. I mean, super sticky. Like I was eating pancakes with my damn hands. Oh! Nice. All right, first cast, guys. Oh! How did it get off of that? Man, that was a bastard. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm glad I didn't put my hands in. That wasn't a bad bass either, was it? Man, it's a good sign though that they're biting maybe. <laughs> I doubt he'll be dumb enough to get on there again. I figure we're already here, might as well try it. That was a spotted bass, I think. I caught a crappie out of here when I was with Jeremiah out of this little spot. Right, right where you th just threw it. Because there's a little drop off right there. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> All right, we're going to have a good evening. Oh, it's a real large mouth. Yes, it is. Not a spot. So that's a different fish because that was a spotted bass I had at first. I seen the design on him. This ain't bad, guys. Today, guys, for now, until I get hung, which will happen, I'm using a Bandit 200 Chartreuse Blueback. It's my new favorite one lately. I keep going on these little fads of uh, lures, and this is the one I've been using for the last two weeks. It's caught me a lot. All right, not bad. He's about a pound and a third, something like that. Not gonna complain, I'm happy to get anything. All right, Virgil's on a fish. We've both already caught fish in the first two minutes, guys. Not bad. That's a spotted, yeah. He caught him a spotted bass on a chartreuse Ned Rig. Copper truce. Copper truce Ned Rig. There's a lot of fish in this hole, I, I have a feeling. I got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> if we was if we were starving, we would have survived for one more day, I guess. Right. We would have been fighting over the largemouth, though, who gets the meat. All right, guys, we are officially at the little waterfall. It's just a three-foot waterfall. Last year, it used to start 50 feet before where it does now, or down, past down where it was. And then there was one coming off this side. It split. And it totally changed this year. Talk about strange. It's totally a different place now. <clears throat> Not even close to being the same. Oh!
cast. All right. Spotted. About a pound. There's three different spots you can fish all at once. Really four. It goes up right about to your belly button. You just gotta aim for this point and it's real shallow across there because it's split in half. Oh, man. Sorry, little guy. I'm gonna have to have the pliers for this clown. All right. Yes, indeed. Fish number two. One large mouth and one spot. And they're both pretty decent. Not gonna complain. Both average fish in on the chartreuse blueback. Bandit 200. This is a spotted bass. It's a little over a pound or right at a pound. It's not horrible. Not a terrible fish. Right, I'm gonna get him back. He's been out of the water for a good minute or two, so. All right, let's see what else we can get, guys. First cast! Oh! Man! I knew it! Very first throw! <laughs> Alright guys, this is another spotted bass. This guy's a little bigger. He's about a pound and a third. Not bad at all. Very first throw below the waterfall. I knew there was something in there. I didn't feel him. I thought I was, I thought I had a, a leaf or a stick at first. Cause he didn't really, it's hard to feel him fighting in that current when it's rushing towards you like this. All right, not too bad guys. Once again on the Bandit 200. Pick fish like that all day, I don't mind them. They're not giants in here usually, but they're they're decent fish. Right, let's see if there's some more in there. I'm hoping there's a lot of them sitting right there. Let's just hope. I just got whacked hard. Yeah! Oh! Two of them! I got two fish! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! I got two bass! On the same lure! I've never had this happen before! Holy cow! Whoa! Guys, I've never done this. Not on the same lure like that. Oh, he fell off. I just caught two spotted bass on the same crankbait. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that is nuts, man. He fell off right over here though, but still. They were on different hooks. Man, I knew something didn't feel right. Guys. Double spotted bass on one crankbait. <clears throat> First time for everything. I've had buddies that have done it, but I have personally never done it until now. All I can say I did. 
Now, I've caught them on tandem rigs, but that's using two jigs. I've never caught two fish on one crankbait, and they look like identical twins. My goodness. That is just sweet. Woo. All right, guys. I've caught four fish now. Or is that five? I think that was five. Yeah, that's my fifth fish already. Already had, now I definitely had a good evening. That, I cannot believe that just happened. Oh my God. I thought it was a catfish because how it was like spinning real weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, this thing is messed up. He messed it up. My split ring's about to come off. I'm gonna have to squeeze it with the pliers. I guess it's, they screwed it up that bad from both being on there. Man, that got me excited there. That made my trip worth it. Second bass, his third fish overall. I think it's a spotted. It might be a large mouth. Hard to tell, spotted. Because the eyes, yeah. Yep, yeah, spotted bass. And I'm surprised I didn't get nothing over here. I don't think they're liking the calm water quite yet. They will once it gets chilly. There's that gar, I'm gonna get him. Big one. Oh man. Whoa. Oh yeah. That ain't bad for a spotted. Oh man. Guys, I've caught four fish from this rap from this waterfall. Four fish already. All spotted. Got the one large mouth down there in the calm water. He fought hard anyway. It's not a bad fish. Man. May have you film me a second. I've been sitting on top of the backpack and I duck down when I'm by myself, but it works. I guess someday I'll get a tripod and have two cameras going at once like some people. That's a shit ton of batteries though. I'm gonna have to have the pliers. God, don't wiggle, you'll hook me. That's why I left the pliers out, just because I know I'd need them again. Man, we ended up doing good though, man. For how much time we had, and we never even had to go down to that other hole. All right, guys, another spot. This guy's about a pound and a half. He's pretty decent. They are just stacked up there, man. They are just... Now, that'll change real soon. As soon as this weather cools off, they won't like that swift water anymore. They'll come over here to this calm hole to conserve energy. But for right now, it's probably about the last week or two that they'll be in this moving water. That's why I'm taking advantage of it, because I know where they're at right now. In about two weeks for another two or three weeks after that, they'll be scattered and kind of hard to find. They'll be all over, so. All right, I'm going to get him back in. Fish number five. Goodness, man. My God. That's a real large... Uh, no, it's a spotted. Man, and we put them back all over there so we know it ain't the same one. Can't be the same fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got off. Damn. I had a big one too, man. Dang, he was right at the head. My lure hit literally right in front where it falls down and he was already on there. <laughs> All right, Virgil got his third bass, three bass and one sunfish. We are on them, guys. Yeah! 
Oh man, right here. Not bad either. He's two pounds. Boy, it's hard to fight in this current. Oh, I got a nice one here, guys. Oh, oh, ho, ho. and that's a big old spot. Whoa, biggest one of the day. Man, he's fat. I, I thought it was a large mouth. Whoa. That was over there where you caught yours. I just kept throwing and throwing. Man, this is a good day. That's why I was kind of disappointed to come back to work. <laughs> Cause I, would, I would have been going every day somewhere for the next two months. Even if it's Foshi, I would have been going. Just got both vehicles, just put 1200 bucks in the van to get it going and then I get called back. <laughs> uh, all I can do is go after work. Damn, if it rains a lot, it's gonna ruin this place or I'd come this weekend if it's this damn good. Huh? Oh, shit. No way to get over to it. You could walk across there. You could even get down right here and go across, but it's a lot of work. Now that's a spotted bass. I'm gonna have you film me a second. Man, that's a nice one there. For this creek it is. All right, guys, biggest bass of the day so far. He might go two, one and three quarters, maybe. Something like that. Another spot. We got one real largemouth, all the rest is spotted bass, but I'll take these all day. I'm happy with them. They fight good in that current. I was fighting him right where it comes down that hill. All right, guys, not bad. He's a nice one. I believe mean, there's nothing over here. I know this is deeper. It's, they ain't in the calm water like that yet. Except crappie would be. I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Crappie. No. No, it's a bass. I, I guess never mind what I said. There's one over here. Guys, this is number nine. And it's a real large mouth. All right, we got a large mouth. We haven't even been fishing one hour, guys, and have caught, between the two of us, 14 or 15 fish. My goodness. That's large mouth number two. It looks like the same one I caught earlier and turned it loose. Oh, man, you about hooked me. So I guess I was wrong. There's, well, large mouth don't like the swift water, that's why. Both of mine have come from the calm water that I caught. All right, let's get him off. God, you look now, the hook's in my backpack. Oh man, he fell off, but now the hook's in my backpack. You're gonna have to calm down if you want back in. I'm gonna let you go. All right, guys, he's only about three quarters, if that, two thirds like that nice little bass though all right let's get him back in it was a good day i've had days where i've went fishing 10 hours and haven't caught this many lately you know what i mean there we go oh yeah not bad Not big, but another two thirds of a pounder, I guess. Spotted bass. All right, guys, another spotted bass. Short and fat, nothing big, but hey, fish. All right, let's see if I can get another one. That's 10 for me, I think, on bass, maybe 11. Kind of lost track now. Mostly I've always caught pickerel out there and that's it. Couple little bass, but Wilma had a big crappie on one time too. That was when we was with you. I was gonna say, yeah. I... Oh, oh man. I didn't even realize he was on 
Oh, all right. He's got something decent here, guys. What are you using that red crankbait? Crawl dad. It's like a crawl dad kind of red crawl. He's got a red crawl crankbait. It looks like a large mouth. It's a nice one. Yeah, that's a large mouth. See that that's what's over here in the calm water, and then all the spotted bass are over in the current. Yeah. All three large. Man, he inhaled that. Oh, never mind. I thought it was totally missing there. All three large mouths we caught tonight, guys, were all in the slack water. And you fish that them rapids is when you're gonna get the spot. We're too far down for smallmouth by about 10 miles. I've caught two down here in six years. Just once in a while. That's not bad at all. I'll get a good picture of you here. We just keep trying and trying and keep getting them. We definitely had a good day. We didn't get no big ones, but they're not terrible. Just average. Decent little guy. Yeah. Not bad bass. That way I can give you, send you a picture tomorrow or whenever I do this. Alright. Probably tomorrow. It's going to be hard to get them all off. Because I forgot I got all the Castor River on here too. This camera is going to be like 15 gigabytes full of video. Oh my god. And then I got to go through. I'm just going to go. I can probably just go through and get the pictures off first. Just fast forward and save all the pictures. Man. All right, guys, this is the hole from above where we just call them fish. We caught eight fish, I believe, just from that big bowl below that waterfall. We caught two or three over there in that calm, deep pool. And then we caught four or five over here in that secondary hole below the rapids. Good evening. Well, we're going to try for one more little hole down here on our way back to the car we're going to try it for about 10 or 15 minutes so stay tuned there's some more fish hopefully there oh my crankbait messed up there he was again too man I'm... oh mm -hmm. you see this car oh got him guys i just caught this bass pretending my crankbait was a top water because it messed up and was swimming funny so i just started jerking it and twitching it like you would a top water and caught him that's two weird things in one <laughs> did you see me doing it no i heard it like on the top but I oh know. my goodness i had a big old freaking gar right here oh man you're probably glad he didn't get hooked then because he would have cut your line or is that the braid no that's mono all right, guys, spotted bass number 12, 11 or 12, little guy, about half pound. Had a good evening, though. I can't complain. This is the best day I've had in a while, really, without going all day. I've had days where I've fished 10, 12 hours and didn't catch this many in the last two months, a lot of times. I should have lost it like two or three times now. And then the double and the weird topwater bass. Yeah, this hole ain't even deep anymore. Oh, oh my God. I got something big, man. Really big. That's that gar. Yes, it is. Oh, I got to be careful. He's going to cut my line. Oh my God. He's 30-something yeah, yeah. inches, man. Yeah, dude. He was big. Hell yeah. I got to let him wear down. Or he's gonna get he's gonna get me hung if anything or cut my line oh my god i don't have a dip net man no dip net guys he's 30 inches at least 30. i'll be lucky to not lose this crankbait i gotta get him in and just flip him away from the water that way if he breaks the line i at least get my crankbait back oh my god Good day to end the good fish to end the day with anyway. It is a long nose, or it would have been close to a record if it was a spotted. And I didn't bring the dip net because I didn't want to carry a bunch of stuff like an idiot. Thinking I wouldn't get nothing like this. <laughs> oh my god, he's way bigger than it seemed like he's pretty dead he's at least 35 well he wasn't even close to being tired Hell no. 
one good thing i got a pair of gloves in my backpack so i can have you show me holding it best thing i can think to do is grab the oh grab the bill of the crankbait <sighs> Oh, there was a big mosquito on my arm. Yeah, I've had a few. Had one biting on my back. Well, I'm amazed, guys. I only got 10 pound mono on here, and I managed. He managed. Luckily, the line did not get wrapped in his bill. It's just the hook. That's why. And I got that drag set. He's only about four pounds, but yeah, I'm beating them off my arms now. What well, do you think? Grab the bill and then pull it up. I need to pull him up behind you in that dry sand. Not a bad long nose there for a little creek. Man. Oh, he's about to come off, man. <laughs> he's 35, maybe 36. Damn. Barely hooked, man. I can get it without pliers. Look at that. No pliers. Oh my God. Whoa. Crazy. Yeah, I keep these all the time now. I just wash them and I can use them over and over. Because you never know, even if you're crappie fishing, you might get a bow fin or. Yeah, you never know. Or something like that. Oh, I'm going to have you take it off my head real quick. Oh, yeah. Just for what, like 30 seconds before he gets all sandy. <sighs> that way he's still clean on this side. All right, guys, long nose gar. I'm going to say about 32 to 34 inches. He might go 35. Not bad either way. Is it? Yeah. I'm about right in the right spot. Yeah. We're showing the whole fish. Yeah. Right, guys, I got him on the Bandit 200. Luckily, the line didn't get in his teeth or it would have been done. He would have got off. It made a good ending for the day right there, man. Yeah, buddy. God. Oh, God. Go. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Slime. All along it. All right, guys, that ends this video. Not bad for an after work fishing session. Maybe two hours at the most is all we had. Yeah, we got here about 5.30, I think. So, caught 20 fish in two hours. Nothing real huge, nice but the gar was nice. And, Josh. and double lures, so it, it paid off. Till next time, hit that like button and please subscribe. Dang it.